I have a beautiful American dingo. From his front yard in Grand Prairie, Trey Matt told me about his love for animals. I've messed with tons of reptiles and I love all animals. That's why he owns a West African banded cobra. She's beautiful, she's intelligent. A venomous six foot long, two inch wide cobra. That's now missing. We built in-house terrariums and it was a, it was a uh, caging malfunction. I'm doing everything that I can to help retrieve this snake. We've never dealt with a West African banded cobra before. Officer Mark Becedo is with Grand Prairie Police. We want the public, the residents in that area, to be aware that this snake is possibly outside of that home, and they need to know that it is extremely dangerous, extremely aggressive, and if they see a snake, any snake, that they believe to be the cobra, they need to call 911 immediately and keep their distance. Randall Kennedy runs Dallas-Fort Worth Wildlife Control. As you can see, I mean, the house is fairly tight. He searched Wednesday near Trey's home on the 1800 block of Cherry Street. Kennedy thinks the snake isn't as dangerous as some describe. It is a very toxic snake. The venom is extremely toxic, but in the same hand, the snake's not really aggressive. So unless you're grabbing or stepping on this snake, you're going to be okay. Now, what made you want to get um, a snake like this that is so rare and potentially dangerous? It's, it's not about that. It's really not. No matter his reason for getting it, it's likely you don't want to meet it. It was uh, very alarming. At least until it's back in a cage in Grand Prairie. I'm Alex Rozier.